guys, it's here Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to day two of Craftmas and today is the day that we actually start building our village. So I have created a custom world for our village this year. So that way it's just easy and everything's snowing and I'm not having to edit my land like last year to be a snowy land in the middle of the mountains. So the first thing that we're going to do today for our episode, my Craftmas episodes are normally always really short because we're slowly building every little thing over time. So the first thing we're doing today is starting our terraforming and actually also designing or well, choosing a design for our footpaths and also adding some landscaping. So the first thing I kind of want to do for terraforming, I think, for my village this year is I want to kind of go for like a rural village feel that's really kind of like traditional so I am going to build a river that goes through my village and kind of split it on two sides and then the river can also be multifunctional because we can probably try and do some things with it so I have these two little lakes which I'm now expanding <laughs> into one giant river by making a river shape I just think it wants to I want it to be really quiet uh, I don't want it to be too wide because I don't want a huge river but we probably want it to be kind of wide enough that it makes sense to have a bridge going over it. Um, also, you kind of want it to look natural, so you don't want it really, really thin in some bits. So I'm just going to keep playing around with it. I think it looks a little bit too straight over on this edge over here. So we're going to just remove and make it a bit wider over here a little bit. Because like I said, we want it looking as natural as possible, even though I'm completely changing the way it is. But that's what terraforming is. I think this kind of looks good for a river, maybe just widening it at the end a little bit so maybe we have kind of like a little lake over here and then there's some rivers that are kind of like all in different areas as well so maybe we'll even try and make like a frozen waterfall and stuff like that. I think that would be quite cool. So we're going to widen this bit a little bit here and make this our first kind of mini lake bit in our series of lakes. We probably might make a bigger one at some end. If you guys also have any suggestions for what you would like me to be building in my Craftmas, I already have a few ideas of kind of like the theme I want to go for, but I don't want to copy everything I did from last year. We will do some of the same things, but change the way that they look. But I want to kind of do something new every year when I do Craftmas. So if you have any ideas for things that you think would be a really cool idea to build or anything like that, feel free to comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm more than happy to try and incorporate um, different building designs that you ha guys have for me. But remember that my Craftmas videos are quite short, so nothing too crazy. We do do the occasional longer one when we've done like Santa's workshop and stuff like that last year, but we'll see what we do this year. Maybe this year we'll try and make it more like a traditional village. But I quickly filled in that river space with water which is already freezing over which I'm very pleased about because it'll be nice to have a frozen river going through the town. I'm also just covering any spaces along the edge which I'll speed up through with the, the snow. Um, just because we don't want any grass or dirt showing if we don't have to. We want to try and make the landscape feel I think as cold as possible so anything surrounding the river to also make it blend in better with the water which is going to cover with snow like how it should have been but there we go so that i have sped up ahead and finished and the river's freezing over even more yay now we're going to start focusing on a footpath design i think because i'm wanting to kind of do like a rural village that's in christmas kind of feel if you guys get me um i want to have a kind of traditional pathway like we did last year so I want to kind of go for a stone pathway, nothing modern. Um, there's lots of different things we could do because I'm doing this in like the, the 1.14 snapshot. So I could always do something like this and have a lower pathway. Um, but I'm thinking I'm wanting something a little bit more uh, simple, especially if we're going to be building up and down hills because I have built this in a, in a tundra. Even like doing this with like the, the gutter detail. I think will be a little bit too modern for like a real Christmas village feel. So we might go with something flat again, but I don't particularly want to go with stone because last year we did the cobblestone. If you Also, if you haven't seen any of my Crafters videos, you can go on my channel and get an idea for kind of what we do in them. But I might actually do the netherrack 
which might be a little bit controversial, but the way that it looks in 1.14, I really love the texture and it kind of reminds me of like a Christmassy cobblestone. And I love the red rock color that it has. So let's go with Neverack this year for my Christmas village little pathway block. I think it's actually really pretty and it's going to really kind of give that little bit more of a Christmas feel to the to the village than what we would have had. So let's fill this all in here quickly and then we can just cover up anything that we we don't want with the snow block again. Now I don't think there's actually a Neverack uh, slab because it's, it's just a full it's just a retextured block they haven't actually changed the slab or anything like that. Um, so I'm thinking to go up, we might have to do a different kind of block. Uh, I think the never brick might be too much. Yeah, see I think that's too harsh against the the netherrack. So maybe like a stone. Again, I don't really like the grey and the red. We could maybe go for quartz, I think. Let's look at the quartz slab. I think this is probably going to be the best one. And then it kind of also... Move bunny! Then it kind of also looks like this this like the staircase is just kind of being snowed over so I, th I think we'll go for the slab this year and then I'll probably do more pathway after later on like we're not going to build the whole pathway at first we're kind of going to build as we go I don't want to be changing the landscape too much last year we built Santa's like the North Pole so everything was quite busy and like a thriving town but because we want to make this a little bit more rural, we don't want to have pathways everywhere and stuff everywhere. So we're going to kind of spread things out and build as I, we go, I think. But I think this looks quite nice. To add more details to the block like last year, we might do the same thing where I did the little trimming of the snow messily along the edge. Just different heights so you get the idea, oh, this is the pathway. Especially because like as it naturally snows here, things are going to get covered over. So it's going to help distinguish a little bit that this is the pathway and I think for landscaping for now I'm just gonna keep it really simple and add some pine trees uh, we might add some flowers in a different way later on which I'll go into a little bit later but I, I think for now we're just gonna keep it really simple I don't know why I'm doing this with the the, the dirt but I like doing it we're gonna just add some pine trees for now just in a few different locations like maybe one over here Again, we don't want them really kind of like bunched up because we want to be able to be building when we want to. So I'm just going to place a few random ones along the lake area here. Just like tree here, tree there kind of thing. Nothing too much. But I think this is a pretty good start for the first day of Craftmas. We've come up differently with the idea of a river going through the town. And I think we might be able to play around with what we do with that later on, like I said. We also have our pathway design and we also have our basic landscaping idea of using pine trees. It may be really simple but coming up with these concepts is a really good start to how we want to build the rest of our village. But like always guys please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what would you like me to be doing for Craftmas this year. But like always guys thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.